Today we are testing Active Track on the DJI Mini 2 using Litchi. So I've already done a video on Litchi explaining to you guys why you shouldn't use it and how you can get better results by flying manually yourself. The Litchi app, by using it on the Mini 2 with no sensors, it's simply not safe. And this is why DJI doesn't allow Active Track on their own app because there's no sensors on this drone at all. But today I did promise if it got to 500 likes on that video, I will show you how bad it is. And I bought this out of my own money, $21.99 on the iOS app store, it's available on iOS and Android. So this is not a paid review at all. And this is also not a beta version. So the Mini 2 is now booting up, ready, wish it luck. And I've also got the scooter for an active track test. This clamp is fantastic for mounting to a scooter or to a bike. I absolutely love this clamp. The original controller fits onto here really nice and snug, doesn't move about. So if you are on a bike or something, getting one of these is perfect. Okay, let's go and test out today the track and also the follow mode on this Litchi app. Are you ready? Let's go. Firstly, how the app performs. So I don't really like the actual look of the app. I think it's a bit all just a bit complicated and messy. It reminds me of Hollystone interface. Compare this to the DJI Mini 2 DJI Fly app, which everything is nicely in place, easy to get to. I don't like it, but let's just remember that and move on. So we're gonna test the track first of all. So if you actually try and locate yourself by pushing onto the screen to tap onto yourself, this is what happens. So it's quite bizarre this, there's no actual help or to tell you what to do to try and get it to track yourself. So by just tapping on yourself, this happens. So what you have to do is use a pinch motion with two fingers to drag a box around you. If you've got big or fat fingers, good luck. But this is what happens. And also this is the record button, but when you hit record, it also stops any tracking. So you've got to remember to hit record first and then track yourself. This here now should follow me. So I press this button here. This should now be following me. Oh dear, it's not. So this is another bug and a glitch with this app. I've dragged my box around myself here. I've pressed that button. It should now go into follow mode, but it doesn't. It seems to have a mind of its own. It only follows you when it wants to. And when you press that icon, it should turn into a red box to show that it's actually following itself but it doesn't all the time only now and then it's really unpredictable and really frustrating so i've tapped that box again and you can see it's not following me it's just doing nothing it's just hovering in place and when you put some sun into this whoa so this dog is actually really cute so that's the best part of this morning but i'm going to drag a box around myself again and then i'm going to now hit that uh, orbit button now let's try and orbit so this drone should now circle around me doing a nice orbit pressed it nothing so let's just press ok again oh we've now got the record button on so this should now start to so it's now working perfectly mm. doesn't seem to be very good watch again i press go and then a couple of seconds later it just turns off on its own accord and this does this constantly now I can do a manual orbit here. So I've now got it tracking me and it works all right until it starts to see any glares or sun and then it loses you completely. So, and then look, this is the actual app. It's got bugs, it's glitching. It's not the nicest image here, isn't it? So, and that's just not remember one thing as well. I don't know if I've told you this, right. Okay, brilliant, right. So I've now got it, it's actually following me. So it's working, so that looks all right. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not really smooth, but let's just turn around. Once you go around towards it, it doesn't seem to back up very nicely. It's it's pretty close that. It should automatically fly back to keep me in the frame. Kind of doesn't. Anyway, let's walk to that scooter, see if it can actually follow me to the scooter. So we've got a bit of glare, not much, but um, as I get here, that box is getting bigger and bigger. Uh, it's now having a fit and it's lost me again. Now I am walking slowly. So, and then watch this, right? I know you love the channel, but it was nearly over. So here, it just has a mind of its own. Let's just look at that in slow-mo, how close it gets to actually hitting my leg. Why? It's got no bloody sensors on the drone, no obstacle avoidance sensors. It doesn't know whether it's a person, a tree, a dog, a boat, nothing. It will crash. This is the problem with this Litchi app. Right, 
Let's calm down, Darren. Right, let's get on the scooter. Let's just drag a box around it. Let's hit that little man icon. Press go. Yeah, we understand the risks. I hope you do as well. But let's just walk now to go past these pebbles. Oh, is, is it lost me again? Yeah, lost me again. Okay, let's just, let's just try it again. Right, so we'll just put it here. Okay, a little bug there. Right, let's start it again. Okay, right, we're going. Right, it's now, it's now following us. Okay, oh my God. So that's the first one. It's coming after me. Right, it's now keeping me track. Keep it there. Oh, no, it nearly hit me again. Let's stop and back off. And this is all itself doing this. And then the final one was just enough. That just nearly hit me again. I had to crouch down for fear. <sighs> what an absolute disaster. Anyway, and then it just decided to stop tracking me altogether and there's hover in place. And this, guys, is $21.99 and, and apparently meant to be the answer to all of your problems. Changes everything, this app. Spend $21.99 on some beer to go and get a takeaway. You could do so many better things than this app. This is not for you. Oh look, it was doing well then, and then it stopped and lost me again. It also has a feature called follow. With follow, it doesn't kind of track you around a box. It, it, it goes with the GPS location of, of the kind of you, the controller. So you can set the height here. Now this is all right. It goes up quite high, so it's good for those top-down shots. My problem with this is that it doesn't center frame you. So if we just look here, as it's now following me, I'm kind of in that bottom right hand corner and it doesn't adjust to put me in the center of the frame, which active track or top down shots should automatically do. It's not bad. I'll give that five out of 10, but again, it's hit and miss. Again, on this one here, it's meant to be following me and it just simply doesn't, it just stops. Now, this is how active track should work. This is on the DJI Air 2S. No problems at all with this. And then if you want the best of the best, you can go and get a Mavic 3 and get fantastic now active track, able to switch the location of the drone around. Active track is there to track you or an object safely. And it was to my horror I saw in the notes that this is also going to be available on the Mavic 3. Why would you ruin a Mavic 3 with software like this? I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's like someone saying to you, hey guys, I've got this uh, this nearly Tesla software and you can put this onto your Ford Fiesta. You just wouldn't. It's trying to be the fantastic only one active track. And for the active track feature on here, which so many people want on the Mini 2, it simply is garbage. I would polish your Mini 2, find the box in the loft, get it all ready for the Mini 3, which will no doubt certainly have active track with sensors so then it works in conjunction with each other don't waste your money on this this app may look good may be promoted to be good but it is a load of utter crap listen guys if you want to actually make your your videos look better i'll give you a discount of 50 percent just for watching this video to try and get it out there discount code litchy on my mini 2 lots these will make your footage look better manual fly become the expert Avoid litchy.